So guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install the uh, guillotine end pass. So first you're going to start disassembling your gun, get to the bolt. <clears throat> so now you have access to the bolt. Um, you're going to want to take apart the back of the bolt. Um, I'm sure there's a tool for this, but I just use a needle nose pliers. Seems to work. All right, so now that you have uh, that back, you push from the back, <clears throat> then take a pin punch. I'm using a 1 16th inch pin punch. And you just punch out that pin like that. Now, you can just do that. I know my spring is kind of fucked up. I got a new one coming in. But now, um, you have access to your valve and your spring. So, just set aside your valve. Take the uh, end pass. Put the spring in. Put the end pass in. Doesn't matter how it's oriented right now, but you'll see. <clears throat> Take out your piston. Put in your nozzle. And sorry, just gonna bend my spring back. No, this is not a normal spring. This is not how it should look. So then you put it, put the nozzle spring as far in as you can. Then you take the piston, and then you're gonna wanna, uh, that little uh, nub, you're gonna wanna put that into the spring. So then you just push that in. Then you kind of just, I kind of clock it with the, where the, uh, the holes are on the, uh, for the piston, the portings. You kind of just push it in until it gets into place. Then you're going to want to make sure that it's flush right there, and it is. And then you're going to want to make sure that it moves back and forth. It does. And you can <clears throat> push it all the way forward. And then, uh, actually, no, first, you're going to want to stick your uh, 1.5 millimeter Allen key in, and you're want, going to want to make sure that the end pass is clocked correctly which it'll look like that, not like that. You're gonna want it to look like that. All right, so then you push it all the way forward. Then you put your pin in. If I can. I don't think I have it clocked correctly, actually. So 
there we go. So now it's clocked correctly. So now I gotta clock the end pass correctly, like so. And then put the pin in. Yeah, this spring is really bad, but it moves back and forth. You want to take your cap, make sure the O-ring is still on it. Put your cap on. Make sure you don't cross-thread it. Make sure it's tight. So now, to adjust the end pass, turn it clockwise. The set screw. And then you're, you're gonna have to turn it quite a few turns before it'll start adjusting because I started it for you only a couple of turns in. Um, so you're gonna wanna start, start it out by adjusting it so that it's about halfway and then test your jewels with that. And then if you need more power, adjust further back. And if you need less power, adjust further forward. Um, if you adjust too far back, the gun won't work. And if you adjust too far forward, the gun won't work. So just make sure you're, uh, you know that. And if your gun starts acting funny, you might've adjusted it way too far back. Um, but yeah, thank you. Bye.